Welcome Capricorn to your weekly love tarot reading. For those of you that are new to this channel, welcome guys. For those of you returning, welcome back. And thank you for your continuous support. So as always, the reading that I'm doing here, it is going to be a general tarot spread. And what this means is that it probably won't resonate with everyone who's watching. So please just take what resonates with you and discard the rest. Or perhaps you would like a personal tarot spread to do so, please feel free to inquire. I am going to list my email address for you all just at the bottom of the video here where the show more section is along with all the different types of readings that I offer, and you'll find that a personal reading is going to resonate with you more closely. So this spread here is intended for um, Capricorn, Ascendant, uh, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising, and to those of you uh, cross-watching as well. Uh, and these messages here will relate to matters of the heart, love and romance for those of you that are single, coupled up or seeking love. So as long as you have a romantic interest in mind, that reading, uh, the reading should be able to work for you as well. Okay, so let's take a look at what uh, messages are coming through for you here. Oh, look at that. Okay, oh, and there's a, another card here. I can see. Okay. All right. Um, okay, I am seeing uh, Capricorn. Someone here is going to be coming out of hermit mode, okay? Someone here who I feel like has pulled away, whether emotionally um, someone here who has distanced themselves, maybe they stopped talking to you, maybe they did a slow fade from the connection, maybe this is someone who ghosted you, okay, someone who's disappeared here, but I feel like this is someone here uh, with the hermit, they've gone into hermit mode basically, this is someone who stopped communicating with you and who stopped emotionally connecting with you as well on some level, okay, so they've pulled away, I can see that there's been a period of silence and also distance between the two of you, and I'm not just talking about geographical distance I feel like in terms of emotional energy you guys have been really disconnected like you guys have been completely out of tune to each other's emotional um, frequencies here um, this person has been keeping to themselves or perhaps if this is you in hermit mode you've been keeping to yourself here a lot of um, I feel like this person has been withholding a lot of information here they've definitely been holding back there's a lot of things that have been going on in their life or there's a lot of things that have been going on in their heads about this connection and about their emotions towards you but they haven't come forward with any of it in fact I feel like this I feel like their way of dealing with this was just to um, just emotionally disconnect and just um, try and regroup and just gather their thoughts and their feelings on their own. So they did some, they did some um, uh, self introspection here. They did some reflecting. They did some thinking here. Um, mm -hmm. A lot of reflecting is what I'm seeing. They don't want to feel they don't want to feel vulnerable to be honest with you they have they may seem as though they're emotionally distant or emotionally cold but trust me they have um, they're quite sensitive and they have a lot of emotions here but they keep to themselves they don't want to appear vulnerable they feel they they feel a little misunderstood at times as well and um they, they're keeping their feelings hidden here they keep their feelings hidden and in their head, to be honest with you. could be a strong water sign, and more of the signs take this approach where they um, view love from a logical standpoint, okay? So it could be a strong water, um, water sign as well. And water signs uh, are very guarded here. They're, they're very deep and sensitive beings, <clears throat> but they're very guarded. They don't come across that way, not at first to begin with, okay? So let's talk about this breakthrough now. So after a period of separation, after a period of distance and silence, all of a sudden you're going to be receiving communication. And in fact, I feel like you're going to be a little bit shell-shocked by what's coming because all of a sudden this person is going to go from hermit mode, from keeping their emotions hidden, from keeping the thoughts to themselves, from um, you know someone who um, has been a bit of a hermit lately to um, the Queen of Swords here. Okay, This person is just going to be um, they're coming in, they're coming in with communication, a lot of communication, okay? 
feel like they want to let their guard down with you here, okay? And I feel like the the things that they're going to share with you um, here, Capricorn, are, very, are going to be extremely overwhelming to you. It's going to overwhelm you, not necessarily negatively, but it's just like, wow, what happened to this individual? They went from being so reserved and so closed off to now telling me how they feel about you emotionally, to now telling you what they're thinking and opening up and what's going on with their um, in their life here. They've got a message here. They've got a message to deliver to you. And I feel like they're coming in with this strong and powerful message. Something here that you need to hear. Something here that you deserve to hear. I feel like they're going to emotionally open up and express themselves. I also feel like they're going to, um, they're just going to communicate much more to you. They're going to tell you if they've ghosted you, they'll come back either with an explanation or an apology or a reason or even an excuse as to why they've happened, why they've done it and why it's happened. They're coming in with some communication. They're, um, they're talking, they're saying things, they're communicating, they're explaining themselves, they're expressing themselves. It's going to feel a little like, wow, okay, it's coming, where is this coming from? It's going to feel a little, I see this is going to evoke a very strong emotional reaction from you because this is the person that disconnected from you, you know, this, you felt as though this person was pulling away from you, they emotionally disconnected from you, and then all of a sudden they're telling you they have deep, strong, romantic feelings for, for you. It's going to feel a little confusing to you. Um, and it may take some time for it all to soak in, but you'll get there. Um, yeah, so someone here who's been putting up a lot of barriers up, um, and someone here who's been uh, shielding themselves. I feel like they're finally ready to be vulnerable here, and finally ready to... I feel like it's not always going to be, like, just because they come back and open up to you, and, um, you know, they communicate to you, I don't feel like this is how they're going to be going forward i feel like you'll only catch this you only catch them doing this from time to time they're just not that way inclined they're just not that emotionally expressive or they're just not open here okay this is someone who is reserved and i feel like it's their nature you know you can't you can't get mad at them for it i feel but look from time to time they will communicate emotionally um expressively here They feel, honestly, they feel, where's oh, the Seven of Wands? Um, they feel with the Seven of Wands, they have to get their point across to you. And they may do so in a bit of a more assertive or even a little bit of an aggressive manner where, for example, if this person has ghosted you and they come back with communication, you may not necessarily be willing to entertain this anymore. You may feel hurt, rejected by it, and therefore you may feel as if they don't deserve a second chance. And this is where I see them being a little bit more assertive and them explaining themselves and them you know fighting for um, a chance with you someone here is making the direction to is making the decision to move things forward here someone here is making a decision whether it is the energies of your special someone or whether it is you i feel like if they come back you may actually present them with an ultimatum um, or maybe it's them making a decision, okay? Maybe in, you know, during their period of rest and during their hermit mode um, period, this person has decided to open up to you and they've decided they want to move this connection forward. So maybe this is, you know, and maybe that's when they best, this is the type of person I feel like this is when they best make their decisions in period of silence and um, stillness. They need that time to think things through. I think it's just how they are. Honestly, I just think this is someone who's a little bit closed off, um, emotionally reserved. I just think that's their nature. Um, so there you have it. You have communication and this communication I feel like is a breakthrough. So their communication here will reveal something to you about them. Okay, something about as to why they've ghosted you or as to why they've pulled away, as to you know what they think about this connection and where it is that they want this connection to go. Like it'll be very revealing. It's going to um, evoke a very strong emotional reaction from you. Like you feel overwhelmed. You feel like, gosh, they're just, you know, flooding you with all of this um, contact. They'll go from hermit mode to bombarding you with all these... Um, texts and messages it may feel overwhelming but i feel like hear them out they've got something to say and yeah i feel like you should hear it a breakthrough is what i see a breakthrough okay someone breaks their silence and what you get out of it is a breakthrough in the connection yeah that's how i want to put it okay cappy and that there is your spread so thanks guys for watching and listening please show your support by subscribing to this channel by liking commenting or sharing for those of you that do want a reading feel free to connect otherwise take care guys keep safe out there 
and um, I will catch up with you later in the week.